Hello everybody, I'm Adam. In this problem, for the given parametric equations, which we have as x equal to square root of t minus 3 and y equal to t cubed, we're going to do two things. A, we're going to sketch the curve and then indicate the orientation. And then B, we're going to find the rectangular equation by eliminating the parameter and adjusting the domain if we need to. So first let's sketch a curve given by our parametric equations, which we again have as x equal to square root of t minus 3 and y equal to t cubed. So again, what we're going to do here is we're going to just pick values of t, find the corresponding values of x and y, and then plot the points and try and sketch the curve from there. Now, there is going to be a restriction on t. If we look for x, since we have the square root, we know t cannot be negative. So for our values of t, to start with, t can only be greater than or equal to 0. So that at least gives us a starting point. So we'll go ahead and start with t equal to 0. So that is going to be x is equal to square root of 0 is just 0, so x is equal to negative 3. And then y is equal to 0 cubed, or just 0. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plot along y is, or I'm sorry, t is 0. Let's take t equal to 1. So next we have x is equal to square root of 1, which is 1, minus 3. So x is equal to negative 2, and y is equal to 1 cubed, or just 1. And let's just go ahead and take t equal to 2 and see what we get. So here x is going to be equal to, say, square root of 2 minus 3. And to get a usable form for that, since we're going to try and plot this point, let's get a decimal approximation. So the square root of 2 minus 3 gives us approximately, say, negative 1.6. And of course, y equal to 2 cubed, y is just equal to 8. So let's go ahead and plot our points and then sketch our graph. So when t was 0, we have the point x is negative 3, 0. Our point here. And when t was 1, we have x is negative 2, y is 1. So x is negative 2 y is 1, and when t was 2, x is negative 1.6, so approximately here, x is negative 1.6 and y is 8, all the way up at our top. Okay, and then connecting these, there we go, and we know we're going to continue on somehow. So there's the sketch of our graph, oh, and the orientation. So it went from the point negative 3, 0 to the point negative 2, 1 as t increased, and from negative 2, 1 to negative 1.6, 8. So there's the orientation of our curve. So that's part A. So for part B, so now we're going to find the rectangular equation by eliminating the parameter. So again, how we do that when we have say x is equal to square root of t minus 3, and y is equal to t cubed again. So we can do this by solving one of the equations for t, plugging it into the other one, and then simplifying. Um, and so whichever one we pick, it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead, maybe start with x, and we'll plug that over into here, since it's traditional to write y as a function of x. So solving for t, well, we're going to have Adding 3 to both sides, x plus 3 is equal to, say, square root of t. And then squaring both sides, we'll have x plus 3 quantity squared is equal to t. And like we said, so now we're going to plug that value of t in for y. So here we're going to have y is equal to t cubed, but t is equal to x plus 3 quantity squared cubed, so that gives us that y is equal to the function, say, x plus 3 quantity to the sixth power. Okay. Now, it said also want to adjust the domain. So remember, there was a restriction on t. t could only be greater than or equal to 0. So how does that correspond, say, in this domain? What values of x can we have? Well, we sort of answered the question when we looked at the graph. So when t was 0, we got x equal to negative 3, but as t increased, x increased from there. So that's going to tell us that our domain, x, 
if t is greater than or equal to 0, x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 3. So there's the rectangular form of our equation with our domain from our given parametric equations. There we go. Thank you very much.